Do you know Cedric Errol? Have, has anyone seen them? Yeah. You saw them? Do you know which way they went? They went right. My right or your right? <laughs> <laughs> that, this, that way, did they go that way? Did you all see them go that way? I know, I know. That, that way? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're all very kind. I'll be headed along in that direction. Ta-ta. <laughs>
my dad. Uh. Educated oaf, but I'm convinced that he will be a foolish fellow since he was brought up in America. Oh. <laughs> I was disappointed with my two sons and furious with Captain Errol when he married an American. I never cared much for children. <laughs> <laughs> A boy is such an objectionable little animal. He's selfish, greedy, and boisterous. My older sons gave their tutors constant trouble and annoyance. But of the younger, I heard few complaints. Miss Haversham suggests that I might like this grandson. What rubbish! He is the heir to Dorincourt. That's all that matters. I don't have to like him. <coughs> Just teach him manners and how to be an earl. Thank you. Hello, Seti. No, I can't say that I do. You were talking about Marquises and, and, and Earl's game, remember? Yes, right. We did touch on them a little. That's so. You said you wouldn't have any of them come in into your grocery store. And I meant it. Just let them try to come into my grocery store. Mr. Hobbs is one in the store right now. Is what? Is what? Say it again. I can't hear you. He's one in your store right now. Yeah. What? Is what? Where? Give You? Yes, I am one. Or I am going to be one. My 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 new name is Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> it's a hot day out there, Seti. I think the mercury's gone to your head. Mr. Hobbs, there's nothing wrong with my head. I'm sorry that it's true. A lady lawyer came all the way from England to tell us it. Well, who sent her? My grandpa. Well, who's your grandfather? Clever little girl. <laughs> <laughs> what language is that? I can. Oh. <laughs> you like that, eh? <laughs> the Right Honorable John Arthur Molyneux Errol, Earl of Dorincourt, Master of Wyndham Township in Chorworth Ch Castle, <laughs> Derbyshire. That's his name? Yes, and my papa was his youngest son, and there's no one left, no boy, so I have to be the next Earl. What did you say your name was? Lloyd Fauntleroy. I'll be jiggered. It's a long way from here, isn't it? Oh, it's across the Atlantic Ocean. Perhaps it was here for a long time. I don't think there's any getting out of it. I'm afraid not. My mama said my papa would wish me to do it. I brought you a part of this. Pocket watch and a gold chain. I'll be jiggered. There's something written on the back. 
to Mr. Hobbs from Lord Fauntleroy. When this you see, remember me. I don't want you to forget me. I shan't forget you, and I don't want you going around forgetting me when you get over there in England with that British aristocracy. I shan't forget you, whoever that was my mom. I'll thank you every day in my mind. I'll see you riding by on your blue bike By yourself or with a mate I'll see you strolling off to school each day Or running like the dickens when you're late When this I see, I remember you I'll see you bringing Christmas gifts to poor kids on your block, giving them joy with a penny toy. I must admit I will remember this when I'm here by myself and you are gone. When this I see, I'll remember. When this I see, I'll remember you. Bye, Seti. When this you see, remember me. Savages. How am I to explain to Sally that his grandfather doesn't like me because I'm an American? Oh, you mustn't. You mustn't. The Earl is a very lonely man. He, he has no one in the world left but his grandfather. You must do everything in your power to make your son like the Earl. Like the Earl? I want him to love his grandfather. Well, then you can't tell him the truth. Will you allow the Earl this one thing? I will, because I have faith that in time he will change his mind. 
After all, a man would always be fond of his own grandson. Wouldn't he? Let's hope so. <laughs> Have a moment, dearest. I have ordered that the child be brought to me alone. I can't endure to have the servants see my disappointment. Hello, are you the Earl? Yes. I'm your grandson who is having him brought from New York. So you're little Lord Fauntleroy. I hope you're well. I'm very glad to meet you. Glad to meet me, are you? Yes, very. I was wondering if you look anything like my father. Do I? I can't remember exactly, but I don't think you're like him. You're disappointed, I suppose. Oh, no, I admire I respect the way you look. No, I admire him, your relatives. I don't know much about admiring my relatives. Any boy would love his grandfather, especially when he been as kind to him as you have. I was kind to you, was I? Yes, about Rick, the apple one, and Rick it. All the money you were given to spend as you like. Miss Haversham said that you had given to all these people. Bridget's husband, the friend of mine, remember you see Bridget's husband got sick and couldn't work, so when he actually gave me the money I gave to Bridget. That was one of the things you did for yourself, was it? And what about the apple woman? The apple woman is very old. She sells apples on the corner, and the boys always ate. And what did you give her? I gave her a stove, a shelf, and some money. She said to thank you. And who is this Rick? Rick is a shoeshine boy, and you gave him a shoeshine stand with a roof, a roof over it. Did I? Rick, an old friend of mine, not quite as old as Mr. Hobbs, but quite old. And who is Mr. Hobbs? <laughs> Mr. Hobbs is the grocery man, and he's my best friend. And he told me that there's another boy in England, and I thought, oh. What's the matter? Why don't you go on? I forgot you're an Englishman. You're an Englishman, too. Your father was an Englishman. I beg your pardon for contradicting me, but I was born in America, and if you are born in America, you are an American. As good an American would make a rather good Englishman when he becomes a man. But I'm not sure how good a landed proprietor you might think. I told Miss Haversham to give you whatever you wanted, and what you wanted was money to give to the beggars. Oh, but they're not beggars, Grandpa. You see, they all work very hard, you see. I'm just like you. Scarlet fever. He has had bad luck, 
and his wife is not well. Give him time, and he will catch up with his friend. Yours respectfully, Fauntleroy. And the Earl. And I must tell you that the Earl sounded to me quite a satisfactory arrangement. Cedric said to me, I only wrote the letter. It was my grandfather that sent it. You know how he's always so good to everybody. <laughs> well, and the Earl said to me, You see, Miss Havisham, Little Lord Fauntleroy understands me. In future, when you want reliable information on the subject of my character, apply to him. <laughs> Who ever would have believed it? There's a dungeon under the castle. A dungeon under the castle. <laughs> <laughs> you might have known that. And there are deer and rabbits in the park. My grandfather is very rich, but he's not proud and haughty as you thought earls always were. Oh. I wish dearest could live in the castle, but I'm very happy when I don't miss her too much. And I love my grandfather. Everyone does. Please write soon. Your effect. Uh, Affectionate old friend, <laughs> Cedric Errol. P.S. No one's in the dungeon. <laughs> My grandfather never had anyone languishing in there. P.S.S. He's such a good Earl. <laughs> he reminds me of you. I miss that boy. Off to bed, are you? Yes, I had such a busy day. What were you doing? I rode my pony over to Derek's house. Then I brought flute and flowers over to the children at the schoolhouse. Did you? Now I will say my prayers and go to bed. Good night, then. I love you, Grandpa. Good night. Good night, my little boy. After all this time, I can't believe that I found love. After all this time, it's happened to me. I 
Sometimes I feel he's the only boy I ever had. You've been living with me all the time now, Seti. Another Earl has been found. You mean I'm now Lord Fauntleroy after all? There's a lady claimant who has a son, and he is to be the next Earl. Move with you. Is that true, Harris? I'm afraid so. Will they take your husband's marriage away? No, Miss Havisham tells me they can take nothing. The Earl will that. still be our protector. But whether I'm whether I'm not the Earl, whether I'm not the Earl or not, it's just that boy will be Grandpa's boy if I was. Won't he? That makes me sad. So I know how you feel, Freddie. But remember, life has its disappointments. Things don't always go the way we want them to. When that happens, you just have to have the right attitude. When our world is topsy-turvy and troubles make us frown, we know we cry a little, but we'll never let it get us down. We'll wipe that and soon we'll cheer up, we'll cheer, 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 cheer up. When the road ahead gets scary, we'll force ourselves to go. We'll get 
after all. All the New York papers are full of the story. Even the Staten Island Advance is covering it. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Here's a picture of his grandfather, the Earl of Dorincourt. Very autocratic he is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And here's a picture of the mother of the claimant. A bit of a hussy, I'd say. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, knock me cold. Knock me cold. That woman in the picture. Knock me cold if it ain't Minna. Minna Harris from the neighborhood. I know her anywhere. Ooh, a real bad apple she is. She used to steal things in my store when my back was turned. Why, she ain't no aristocrat. She ain't. I know what I'll do. I'll write a letter to Seti. Her son's no more a lord than I am. <clears throat> no, there's a lawyer next door. I'm gonna go ask him what I should do. Lawyers know it all, and this here calls for a lawyer.
It's the 4th of July in New York City So we celebrate tonight It's the 4th of July in New York City Don't you know We're proud that we are Americans In this wonderful democracy When we wave that star-spangled banner we wave it because we're free. Once we fought in a bloody revolution and our country did all right. It was born when we won that revolution long ago. See the fireworks light up the sky. Hear that marvelous orchestra play. It's the 4th of July in New York City. It's it.